In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to add a time series chart to the BioN album. I have a configuration open, and suppose I want to add a time series to the album for the airflow in my aerobic bioreactor. To begin, I want to open the BioN album. To do this, I go to the main toolbar and click the album button. In this example, there are some charts and tables that have already been added to the album. The first step is to add a new tab for the time series I would like to plot. To do this, I go to the album menu and click Add Page. When I do this, Biowin presents me with some page templates. For example, I can choose between a layout that will simply hold one chart or table, or between other layouts where I could have multiple charts or tables, or combinations thereof. For this example, I'm going to choose the single area layout. Now I have a blank page where I can add my time series. And the first step to add my time series is to right click and say chart from the pop-up menu. When I do this, Biowin presents me with options for the different types of series I could plot on my album page. And we'll learn about the other types of series in other tutorials. For the time series, the first step is to specify the element or elements because I could have multiple elements for the same parameter that I'd like to plot for. The elements are grouped by type in this expandable list. To select the aerobic bioreactor, I expand the bioreactor group, click on aerobic bioreactor, and then click the right pointing arrow to move it to the selected elements list. The next step is to select the parameter that I want to plot. The many parameters that can be plotted are arranged in four groups to make them easier to find. The groups are combined variables, state variables, water chemistry parameters, and element-specific variables. Element-specific variables are parameters that are grouped according to the type of element they're associated with. For example, in the settlers group, there are variables like solids loading rate that would not apply to a bioreactor type element. Now, airflow belongs to the reactors and digesters group, so I can scroll down in the list until I see that parameter. In order to plot this, I need to move it to the selected variable list. I can do this by either double-clicking on the parameter or by clicking on the right pointing arrow next to the selected variables list. The last step is to specify the type of time series I want to plot. The choices are concentrations or flows, which is our standard time series, mass rates, composite samples in case I want to get Biowin to run a composite sample for me for something like a flow weighted daily composite sample, and a surface plot. For this example, I would like to simply do a standard plot so I will leave concentration or flow selected. Once all the information for the series has been specified, I can click the Plot Selected button. When I do this, Biowin presents me with options for the style of time series. For example, I could plot a line series, or a point series, or an area series. For this example, I'm going to select Fast Line which offers limited formatting options, but plots very quickly. When I'm finished adding the time series, I can click Close to exit the Add Series mode. Now I see that Biowin has created a chart on the album page I added, but there's not a series yet. This is because I've not ran a simulation that Biowin can sample to plot the Series 4. If I run a quick one-day dynamic simulation, then the time series for air flow rate will be plotted. And here comes my time series. Next I'm going to close the album and don't worry we won't lose the time series that we've just added. The album is saved along with the Biowin file anytime I click File Save from the main menu. To finish this time series example, I want to demonstrate another way to add a time series, this time directly from the flow sheet. The first step is to right click on an element that I wish to plot a parameter for. Suppose I want to plot the total phosphorus for the effluent. If I right click on the effluent element and choose Add to Album from the pop-up menu and then click on Chart, Biowin asks me if I want to add a chart to the current page that's active in the album because I closed the album with a chart active. 
Now I want to force bio and add a new page for my chart, so I will click no. Biowin then takes me to the time series interface I was working with before, and the effluent element has already been added to the selected elements list. I can find total phosphorus in the combined variables list, because it's a type of variable that is not specific to a certain element type. So I can scroll down and find total phosphorus. If I double click on total phosphorus, that will move it to the selected variables list. Once again, I'll leave the standard concentration or flows plot type selected, and then click on the plot selected button. And once again, I'm going to choose fast line for my series. When I'm finished, I click close, and nothing seems to have happened. However, if I open up the Bion album, I can see that a new page has been added. And on that page, it's a time series for total phosphorus. Once again, I won't see a time series actually plotted until I run a dynamic simulation. And when I run that simulation, my effluent total phosphorus time series comes in. Now after I add plots to the album, like my effluent total phosphorus, or my aerobic air flow rate, I like to format them to improve their look, and just doing some basic formatting can make the charts look a lot better. So if I look at some of the other plots I'd added previously, we can see that we have nice legible chart titles and axis titles, and we've fixed the scaling. The legend is nice and legible. So we'll learn about all those formatting tricks in other tutorials. One last concept that's important for time series plots is the plotting interval. In the main Bywin window at the bottom, there's a time interval listed. This is the sampling frequency that Bywin uses for its time series plots. In these examples, Bywin sampled the simulation once per hour to obtain points to plot. In some cases, if we're simulating something like a sequencing batch reactor, once per hour may not be frequent enough to capture all the dynamics that are happening. If that's the case, we can change this setting by using the project database data interval setting. And we actually want to change the display data interval here. And we can increase or decrease that as necessary. This concludes our tutorial for adding time series to the BioN album. Please see our video library for other tutorials that will help you be more productive with BioN.